What's up, y'all? Welcome to Cruising with Kevin, presented by Crep Protect and powered by Genesis. I am your host, Kevin Cuenca, and I am pumped today because I'm driving to the valley to meet up with Oscar Miranda. This dude is absolutely hilarious. He's built an enormous following on social media from his comedy skits, started on Vine, and has just continued to grind over the last six years or so. And he's got some big goals and plans for the future and we'll find out about those as well so you guys get to come along for the ride appreciate you guys hanging out let's go get oscar my life to live my life to shine i pray to god that i live my life right so in the meantime in between time get some money back baby and i am gonna try my best to do likewise i know Welcome to my humble abode, brother. Humble abode. I appreciate you taking time, like yeah. seriously, seriously. Nah, you good, bro. You got a lift in or something? You look kind of slow right I now, I just brother. left the gym, yeah. bro. I'm still pumped and sweaty, dog. I'm, so I'm seeing it. I'm going to sweat up your seats, so my bad. Hey, man, it's all Whoa. good. Whoa, this is a close camera. Yeah, brother. So we got a couple cameras in, inside. We got the 360 camera on the hood. Uh, camera's on deck. You know? Okay. How do I look, though? I mean, Use my double chin or no? No, no, I got the angles right for nah, you. Bad, 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 bad. The <laughs> higher the angle, the better the face. You were born in Bakersfield. Right, right. And yeah. then, do you remember what age you guys came to the valley? Uh, I think I was like one and a half, two years old when we moved there. So I was raised out here in the valley. For high school, I went to this school called Fulton. It's like gotcha. a middle school, high school, yeah. or college prep type school. Uh, and then I went to a school in Lakeview Terrace called Community Charter, which is a, it's like, it's super small. It's smaller school than the high school that I went to out here in Van Nuys. And then I went back to Fulton. So, gotcha. yeah, just too high. But I was jumping around schools because I was going back and forth with my mom and dad. You know, not because of issues, just because, ah, I'm going to go live with my dad now. Ah, I'm going to go back home. Okay. Ah, I'm going to go chill with my dad for a year. When did your parents split? Uh, a year old, maybe. Oh, wow. So right like away. Like, you yeah. didn't even really know anything else. Yeah, something like that. So, I grew up. It was normalized with my parents being separate. Like, all right, I'm going to go with my dad this weekend. All right, mom, see you later. All right, dad, I'm going to go back. So to me, it was normal. You know what yeah. I mean? Uh, which is why for my kid, it's kind of cool that me and Marissa are still together. You know what I mean? Because it's like, she, her situation was the same. So for our kid to have both parents is dope. Yeah, man. Yeah. So my parents split when I was in eighth grade. And for us, my brother and I, it was like the best thing that could have happened. Because, yeah. you know, my dad had his alcoholic issues. He oh, had... Okay. Um, just a lot of like kind of pent up aggression and I think for him it was just hard to balance being a father and a dad and then being in the Navy right and once he was able to once the divorce happened we moved down to the Bay Area okay after that it was like okay we can finally start to build up a relationship with our pops when you are growing up and you start to realize oh little Johnny over here has got both his parents and yeah 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 did that affect you at all or was it all just like um, no nah, this is normal for me and no, I'm it was, good. yeah it was normal bro like when i would see my friends like oh yeah my mom and dad are here like mm -hmm. it was just normal I, I never felt sad i never felt like oh i wish both of my i don't think i ever wished both of my parents were together because it was just normal to me it wasn't like you know i was five years old six years old and then my parents split you know what i mean so it was just it was never really anything lost as far as like a relationship mm -hmm. like a family relationship um yeah it was just normal to me bro so you know, I kept a good relationship with my mom, my dad, uh, my stepdad, which has been with my mom since I was like two, three. Okay. Um, so yeah, man, it's, it's, it was all normal for me. <laughs> so for you, it almost felt like maybe you had two pops. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. And then I got my two brothers, which come from my stepdad. So, you know what I mean? Uh, yeah, but it was, it was, to me, it was always just, it was just normal. Like I didn't really look at it different. It was like, oh yeah, I got my stepdad and my dad. Uh, it wasn't like uh, I'm the outcast here, you know what I mean? It was never like that, so it was, it was cool. I mean, he beat me or whatever, but not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, that's why I'm in his weight room, dog. <laughs> I'm still letting out the aggression, you know. Um, no, nah, it was cool, bro. My my stepdad's dope, bro. He's just like my pops. Yeah. He loves my kid. My yeah. kid loves him. You know, calls him Papa Mario. Calls that's my cool. dad Grandpa. You know, so. Um, yeah, man, we're one big happy separated family. You know what I mean? You know, I, I think uh, for a lot of people, it's. Like, as long as you have the love around, it, it might not be, like, the typical or what you see on TV or whatever, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, absolutely, bro. And, like, with us, uh, so our grandma passed in 2013. She was, like, the glue to our family, you know? Yeah. Um, and then when she passed, bro, everybody kind of, like, 
you know, wouldn't come around as much. I mean, we still keep in contact with everybody. It wasn't like, like, you look at our old house parties, you know, with the cumbias blasting and everything, mm -hmm. all the Diaz dancing, like, it's so rare when that happens. Like, it's kind of messed up because when that does happen, it's like because somebody died yeah. or somebody has to plan something for like a graduation or something, you know what I mean? But the last two or three times, it's because somebody had died and everybody got together and it's like, damn, you missed this, you know what I mean? Yeah. And then after a day or two, it's gone. You know? Why don't we do more of this? Why yeah, exactly. And, something like that. Yeah, and like all the cousins, all of my, like my cousins and stuff, we have like our own group chats. So like, oh, let's get together. So we kind of took it upon ourselves, you know, because now that we're the adults, you know, it's like we have to, you know, make these functions happen. You know what I mean? When yeah. did when did you realize? Okay, my parents are from El Salvador. Like, was there like a moment where you're like, okay, this is a different heritage than maybe my my Mexican friends or whatever? Was there oh, um, was there a moment or like maybe something that was different about growing probably up? Probably just just the music yeah. and the way we talk. That's it. Is there like one word that you would hear your grandma say? Oh, yeah, like what puta, like stuff like that. You so know what does that mean? mean? Like, it means like like son of a bitch, like fuck. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like. Like, um, I mean, you it, it can mean two things. Like, you call somebody puta means bitch. Yeah, but she put a little extra sauce on it. She yeah, like, yeah, yeah, she, puta. She, yeah, puta. <laughs> puta. You know what I mean? Um, as opposed to, like, you know, my Mexican homies, you know, they, they I mean, they knew I was Salvadorian, but mm -hmm. I grew up around nothing but Mexicans, which is why I'm so familiar with the Mexican culture, going to Mexican parties, you know, bandas, conjuntos, all that, bro. Like, I can dance to any Mexican music. I know all Mexicans, I mean, not all of them, but I know a lot of Mexican songs. I, when I'm with my paisa friends, I like to call them, you know, they listen to corridos and shit, they got the trucks, like, I speak like them, not because I'm trying to be like them, but just because I'm accustomed to it, the best of both worlds, you know what I'm saying, like, they, they, I, I was never, I was never outcasted either, because I wasn't Mexican, my cousin, on the other hand, they'd call him Zero, you know, like Cerote, they'd call him Zero, Zero, that's so, when you know people love you. Oh, absolutely, bro. Absolutely. Them. We never we never beefed. And like I yeah. feel like Mexicans and Salvadorians have like this historic feud, but I've never encountered that. You know what I mean? Like I've never had any issues with any anybody really. Well, I think part of that's your energy too. Oh, probably, yeah. You know? I'm not I'm not one to for problems, you know what I mean? But you know how to solve them. Uh, I can solve them. I you know what I mean? Uh, I can they solve might, them. They might not know. You play, You started playing football in sixth grade. Yep. yep played all yep. through high school. Yep. A little bit of, well, I, I grew up playing soccer. Oh, okay. Then football. So I've always had, like, the quickness, the stamina. And because I'm, I'm short, bro. So, like, I've always had, like, the quick, <laughs> and, like, the agility, you know? And especially in football, like, I'd get underestimated so much, bro. And that's why I, 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 I was successful when I played, mm -hmm. you know, because... I, I, people will try to tackle me high, but not knowing I have the agility to literally go under you and take off. You know what I mean? Um, I mean, I, I could do that now. I'm in a flag league, but I'll pull a hamstring or something. Like it's, it's, it's not, it's not fun anymore. Like you're, it's just my body doesn't let me. You know what I mean? You're preaching the choir, brother. I'm bro, 37. Bro, it's it sucks. Like I have to stretch for a whole <laughs> ass hour before I could even warm up. You know what I mean? It's it's it sucks now. But you played sports growing up or no? Yeah, loved playing. You know, we used to play football. When I was born in San Diego, we were on this cul-de-sac. Okay. And we basically were there till second grade for me. And we used to play football to 100. We'd play basketball till you know, the lights came on and keep playing because we had a little hoop in, in front of our place. You guys play tackle on cement and everything? You know, I don't... I'm... I don't think we played tackle like that. I'm sure that, you know, we took spills. Yeah, yeah, but I yeah. But I don't remember, like, actually playing tackle football i think it was oh, okay. just two-hand touch okay um but every once in a while we'd get a little overzealous and someone would fall down yeah yeah, yeah. Um, oh, yeah. We, but we, no we yeah. weren't like straight up tackling each other well, we weren't we, as tough we, as we were bro we we, <laughs> we just we did i don't know we didn't care like we'd have all these burns and scars and and and, and scabs and I, it's just, we didn't care i don't know i just i didn't care you know which is now now like i look at them like oh, i would never do that again not on some men like people hit people hit me up to play tackle football at a park competitive side of me is like let's get it <laughs> but like the you know yeah the but logical the father, side of me the father, the father, father is like man i got a son can you house? afford a broken like, leg right now <laughs> you know what i mean you gotta grind dude and i learned that bro i learned that this last flag season i was like i'm good i'm good didn't stretch i'm like i don't need it pulled my hamstring didn't even play the rest of the season bro so it sucks man it sucks i know you are on record as saying that you ran a four six, I ran 40. a four, I ran a four six forty in high school. But I got a question. Yeah. Was that like 
the old coach was like, no, 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 I weighed like 170 in high school, you know what I'm saying? So it's like I had the I had the speed. I was light on my feet, you know. I was just I, I'm, I was a short distance runner, no pun intended. You know what I mean? I couldn't run a mile in five minutes. Like I'd get gassed, but I can burst for 60, 70 yards and and leave someone in the dust. Unless they're faster than me, obviously they'll catch me. But um, yeah, bro, four six forty. That, that was a good day. No, that, every time I tell him, like, ah, that's not prove it, prove it. I'm like, well, how am I gonna prove it, bro? <laughs> like, we hadn't, we didn't have what we have now back then. Like, yeah. I show you a statue. It's, it's not on Rivals.com, yeah, it, bro. Yeah, it's not. Yeah, it's not. It's not on Max Preps, bro. Like, you know what I mean? After high school, you went to Pierce College and then Valley Community yeah, College as well. Yeah, yeah. And, I went you, to, and at that point, you were still wanting to play football. Yes, right? I. So I went to Pierce because I wanted to play football. Went to Pierce. Missed tryouts because I got the wrong information. That's my fault. I was like, all right, whatever. I'll play next season. So I went to Pierce. It was cool. It was a little too far for me. It was, I mean, it's not far. It's just I got tired of taking the bus and, you know, transferred to Valley. Was going to Valley, and then that's when we found out that we're pregnant. I was like, I guess I can't go to the NFL, dude. It's not meant to be. Uh, well, I could I could have gone pro. I'm, I'm not going to doubt you one I could have gone bro. pro. I'm, I'm not going to doubt you, mm -hmm. Uncle Rico, mm -hmm. one bit. Mm -hmm. You mentioned... Marissa yeah. uh, got pregnant with yep. your son Nathan right. and she's your high school sweetheart you guys have been together for years so it wasn't like shit I gotta run away from this but what sense of like ownership and pride as a man and like alright I gotta step up and, and do this like what did you feel inside at that time or was it super scary? It was scary bro it was scary not because I didn't know what to do it was more scary because what are, what are our parents going to say? You know what I mean? Which is crazy to think now that I feel like that's everybody's first concern is like, what is my mom and dad gonna say? What, what you know what I mean? As opposed to like, how am I gonna raise this human? You know? Um, so that was our thing, bro. We we're like, what are we gonna do? So we made an appointment to go to the doctor to get a, an actual pregnancy test. And uh, at this time, my girlfriend was under her mom's insurance, and she told her. Bro, she was mad. Like, mm. she was pissed, bro. My dad was mad for five minutes and got over it when I told him. Yeah, he was mad for five minutes. He's like, all right, I'll be grandpa. Yeah. Yeah, my mom, on the other hand, she was she was pretty. She wasn't mad. I think she was heartbroken. She was more heartbroken because I didn't. She, I, I think at the time, she felt like, shit, um, my life is over. You know, like, mm. he's not going to be successful. You know, and rightfully so, bro. Like, I'm 19 at the time, like, I have nothing under my belt. No, I mean, I just have my high school diploma. That's it. But what What else? Like, I don't have a college degree, nothing. Like, what am I going to do, you know? But, yeah, man, it was it was, it was was scary at first. And then just roll with the punches, bro. We just rolled it out. And here, here it is. It's full time. There it is. Full college prep. Bro. Full college prep, dude. FCP, go Jags. You starting to get some flashbacks of your old math teacher, Miss T. I know you had a crush on her. How do you know that? <laughs> <laughs> I do my research, bro. How do you know that, bro? This is what I do, dog. What? This, this <laughs> when did I when did I talk about that at some point in my life? Miss T, Miss T was a little batty, bro. She, yeah, yeah. She would always flirt with me. <laughs> yeah. Is there one memory or a moment or something that comes to mind, or is it just like a general feeling? It's like a, it's a it's nostalgia. A, it's a general feeling. It's weird because when I, well, one of my main memories. I don't know why I always think of this memory. For some reason, it's very important to me. It was a Friday, um, first playoff game of the season, uh, and I needed to get a C in English to play, and if I didn't, I would I I wouldn't play and I'd be, I wouldn't be eligible for playoffs. So at this time, right, this whole week, I'm making up work, catching up on assignments. Marissa's in this class, and she was a nerd, bro. She was like the student body president and all this stuff, and so I told her I was like, can you help me? Do you have this essay? And she would keep all her all her shit, you know, like just yeah. filed up. So I would just literally copy all her essays and just reword it. You know what I mean? Um, at shit like in conclusion, you know what I mean? <laughs> Thus, comma. Therefore. <laughs> therefore. <laughs> at some point. Um, yeah, bro, and I copied every essay. Every, and uh, Miss Johnson, what's her name? She knew, bro. She knew that wasn't me because I didn't talk like that. I didn't talk like that. And she knew, bro. She was like, all right. And so she passed me. 
But she knew you ran a four six forty. She knew I ran a four. She knew I was the only hope to 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 to, to advancing, bro. Um, and so yeah, so whatever. She gave me the C, and this is like an hour and a half before the game, bro. I'm like, let's go. So I run to the coach's office. I'm like, boom, C. And he was on me. He's like, do your work, all week. Do your work. Do your work. Was able to make it. We won that game. We blew them out. I think I got like three tutties that game. Mm. Um, we went all the way to the championship. Lost the championship. Got blown out actually by some school called uh, View Park. Mm. Yeah, they murked us, bro. It was bad. I got respect though. They're like, good shit, thirty three. Cause I was, you know, breaking angles left and right. I was like, ah. <laughs> and they're like, good shit, try, try. I'm like, yeah, yeah, that's what I do. Um, but we lost, bro. We lost. It was fun though, man. High school football was amazing. I don't think there's anything like it. I don't think there's anything to like it, except the NFL. But, yeah, man, it was fun. It was fun. You, you mentioned the NFL. You yeah. are a, a huge Rams fan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and you even built a, a relationship with Roger Saffold, who's since been traded to the Titans, but he played for the Rams for a while. You guys would use, like, videos and skits mm -hmm. together. How did that uh, relationship come about? Uh, I think Instagram. I think we had, like, a mutual friend. And I don't know if it was him that commented or I or I that comment or me commenting. Well, I don't yeah. know. You you go what I'm trying to yeah. say. Yeah, bro. I went to Fulton. You don't know I, I, I went to Fulton. I copied all my English. There you go. Um, therefore. Therefore. Therefore, I commented on his. In conclusion, we became friends. Um, yeah, bro. So uh, I think it was Instagram. At some point, mm -hmm. we like commented on each other's shit, and then uh, I think I DM'd him like, "Yo, bro, let's let's shoot a video or something." Gave me his number. Uh, we became boy. That's my guy, bro. That is my guy right there. Like. He's he's like, he's like a homie, homie. Like he's, I'm writing a movie right now, and he's like, bro, I'll help you fund it. Like he's, like, I got you. Like he believes in me. Like he really believes in me, you know. Um, so he's he's a homie, man. That's one of the homies that I like do. Whatever he needs, I got him. You know what I'm saying? If he needs me to run a six a four six forty again, I will train you got to that. run a four six forty. Uh huh. If he needs me to do his English homework, I will do it. Pass it off. To I will Marissa. pass it off to Marissa, and she will write it out. I will give it back to him, and he will pass his class. <laughs> You know what I mean? Uh, were you a Rams fan your whole life growing no, up? No, 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 no. I growing up, I didn't really have a team, bro. Mm. I just I followed players. I liked players. Like my favorite running back growing up was Darren Sproles, cause he was short like me. Uh, Maurice Jones Drew, cause he was short like me. You know, and um, Reggie Bush. I loved Reggie Bush. Uh, I just loved running backs, bro. LT. Like, I've always loved the running back position. Um, so I never really had a team. And then um, I stopped watching football. I like stopped caring for it because uh, Darren Sproles left. He got traded to the Saints. Uh, LT retired, and I'm like, all right, whatever. Maurice Jones Drew retired. He was, you know, um, MJD. He's a he's a friend of mine. Yeah, yeah, yeah man. He's a great dude. Yeah, man. I, I I my cousin actually he knew I loved MJD just because he was a beast, bro. Um, so he got me an MJD jersey. So I have I have a Jaguar jersey somewhere, and I would use it for one of my. One of my gangster characters. Like, I just throw it on and it used to fit me big. It probably fits me perfect now. I saw that with but, the beanie on. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, man. And then uh, when the Rams came to LA in 2016, I was like, that's my team. You know what I mean? That, that's my team because I'm LA everything. Like, Lakers, Dodgers, everything, bro. Um, don't watch hockey, but by default, Kings. You know, I want to start watching hockey. I want to go to a, I want to go to a hockey game. Yeah, it looks fun. Um, Galaxy has always been my team. Grew up playing on the little Galaxy squads at the park, you know. Um, but yeah, man, LA everything became a Rams fan, and now it's just that's my squad, bro. That is my squad. So when people call me a bandwagon, I'm like, new city, new fans. Uh, you won't see me repping any other team. I don't care if we go 0 and 16 five years in a row. Like that's my squad. You know what I mean? That's what it was. You need to. Uh you touch your hair at all? Nah, you good? You good? I'm good. I'm good with the hat. <laughs> yeah, my hair was a mess this morning, so I was like, I'm just throw a hat on. See, but you're you're straight because you just slick it. You just, that's <laughs> I, I gotta like sideways it and then hit him with a comb over and like yeah. make sure the top is just like perfectly poofed. You know what I mean? I got a weird shaped head, so it's kind of <laughs> tough. Kind of tough. Oh, uh, so we, I just want to go back to one thing that we didn't really finish the idea on, which was you're trying to balance. Uh, so you're, you're working this security job. Right, right, right. You know, Marissa's pregnant. Right, right, right. Nathan. And right, right. You guys have, Nathan's like two months old. Mm -hmm. And you're, you're working this security job and you're having a tough time balancing and all this stuff. Right at the time that Vine was starting to pop. So you're starting to do some videos. Where'd you yeah. find this information, Come bro? Come on, bro. I did my <laughs> research now. Can you take us back to that 
time and what you were trying to do to balance it and then obviously it didn't work out yeah at the time i think i was already doing i was trying to do youtube but then vine was a thing it was popping so i'm like all right i'm gonna do vine so i started doing vines at home um met this dude on instagram i think i would always tag like king batch and and mm-hmm. Daystorm and, and all them in my in my videos you know obviously nobody would respond because it's it's, <laughs> it's tough right um and then in that group there's this dude named giovanni watson right and so i tagged him and he responded to my video and he's like yo you're funny bro um here's my number shoot me a text and i was like oh bet like that's dope you know and so i shot him we texted or whatever we set up a date to shoot um shot a youtube video this is before vine this is just like kind of doing short videos right Mm -hmm. on on instagram we met up we shot shot the youtube video and it it just it did it did great it did well um and then eventually, when I was like, all right, I'm going to start doing Vine, focus on Vine, started shooting videos at work, little, like, the dumbest ideas, you know what I mean? And then one day, he took me to Daystorm's house. And I'm like, all right, cool, like, I'm going to meet Daystorm, I'm going to shoot some stuff, whatever. Bro, I got there, everybody was there. Him, Daystorm, Alpha Cat, uh, Splack, you know, everybody that was big on Vine at the time was there, bro. And I was like, holy shit, I just skipped the fucking line. Yeah. You know, I just skipped the whole line, I just went right to the front. And so I ended up building relationships and we became friends and started shooting and um, we would shoot all the time, bro. I'd get invited to go shoot. Uh, the only thing was, is I was working security, so it was kind of hard to make time, you know, because they shoot at six or, or like from like three to like seven, eight. But my job was from like four or five to like 11 or whatever, you know. So I'm like, okay, I have like this one hour, two hour window. I go shoot. I'm like, all right, cool. I got to go. I got to go to work day one do it again the next day five minutes late do it again the next day 10 minutes late again the next day 30 minutes late right because at my job right at the security job it was just me nobody was with me the fuel supervisor would come every now and again rare i'd get there the guy that's working there he'd go he'd leave i'd stay there for eight hours six to eight hours and then i'd get relieved at my end of my shift nobody comes right so I'd go, tell him, all right, I'm here later, dude. Wait for him to leave. I'd go right back to shooting. I would not go to work. <laughs> I would go right back to shooting, uh, go to work when I was done shooting, whatever. I was literally stealing money from the company. Like, I wasn't working, you know? And then one day I got the, the supervisor pulled up. He said, hey, who are you? I'm like, oh, I'm at McDonald's. I, I'm, I, I was hungry. <laughs> And he's like, oh, you know you can't leave, right? I'm like, oh, I didn't know. I'm like, oh, okay, whatever. Bro, I hop in the car. I'm fucking flying on the freeway. I finally get there. I'm like, yeah, sorry, I was hungry. Like, I hadn't eaten. He's like, all right, cool. Same thing happened again maybe three weeks later. I got fired. Um, so this is going on for like, a, like, yeah, for like a month maybe. A month where I was just checking in, leaving, shooting for six, seven, eight hours, <laughs> going back and giving the stuff to the guy. Like, all right, later, dude. Yeah. I had a great day here, you know? Um, so I was, stealing, I was stealing money, bro. I was stealing money from the company. Which I don't know if I can get in trouble for now. I doubt it. But the statute of limitations is probably up. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think so. It's been a while. It's been a while. <laughs> I had like a little bit of success, not too much. I want to say I had like twenty, anywhere from twenty to sixty thousand on Vine when I got fired. And I told Mercer, I was like, I'm gonna just focus on this, dude. Like, I'm gonna just focus on acting. Um, and at this time, at this point, I'm not making. I'm making maybe a hundred bucks, two hundred bucks for a video. Rarely, you know. So I'm like, all right, let's just do it all in i just jumped you know um eventually i started i did a hispanic video i did a a cumbia video and it took off and i'm like huh this spanish stuff works Mm -hmm. on social media right Mm -hmm. and this is before everybody now that's doing it i think at the time there was only one other person doing spanish content hispanic content which was uh lajuan james so i started doing it and then i met jay mendoza mendoza and then we started doing spanish stuff together you know um, and that kind of just took off. It just it just worked out. You know what I mean? Do you remember the feeling inside you when you get the T-Mobile gig, and it's like, all right, this is my first yeah, big yeah. my first job. Can you take us job. back to that? Yeah, bro. I think at the time I was only making at that point I'm making like five hundred bucks, maybe a thousand bucks for for a deal. And so T-Mobile emails me like, hey, we want to send you to the Latin Grammys. I'm like, oh, that's dope alone, right? 
And so uh, they're like, how much, you know, how, what, what are your rates, blah, blah, blah. Oh, no, they didn't even ask me for my rates. I think they just asked me if I was interested. And I was like, yeah, yeah, I'm interested. And they're like, okay. And I'm like, oh, what should I, I tell Marissa? I was like, should I ask for like 2000 maybe 1500 <laughs> And they're like, she's like, I don't know, just see what they say. So I'm waiting for them, for them to respond. And they say, okay, cool. So it's this day. You're going to be there for this day. You're going to stay at this hotel. Everything's covered. Um, and we're going to pay you $5,000. I'm like. Oh my God! Like I, th- I told Marissa, I was like, "Holy shit!" Look, I told her, bro. She, like, showed her the phone, and she was like, "Oh my God!" Like five thousand dollars, bro. We were going crazy. Like I'm like, "This is this is this is crazy." But at that time, I think I sh- I had to post like five pictures on my timeline because stories weren't a thing yet. Five pictures and a video, so. I had to post a lot. I think I told that I was like, that's a lot, but it's five thousand dollars. I I didn't care, you know. Um, and that was the first, my first big brand deal. And I was like, maybe I could do this. Maybe this could work out, you know. Um, and through that, bro, other p- companies saw and, and other people saw, and they're like, oh, okay, he works with real companies. Let's make it happen, you know. And a lot of that I feel like has to do with my dad. My dad would always tell me to keep my stuff clean, you know, never cuss, never do anything. You know, that's vulgar, which worked out, you know, because it, it's it's very brand friendly. Now I'm like a little more lenient with it. Like I'll maybe, you know, make like a grown up joke. You know what I'm saying? Like throw, you know, I don't think I ever cuss in videos now. Yeah, I don't think I, I don't think I do. I doubt it. Um, I'll probably throw in like a hot chick every now and then. You know what I mean? Um but that's about it, bro. I think for the most part, it's clean. I think it's 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 pretty family friendly. Yeah. Yeah. But that was that was a great gig, man. T-Mobile. I still I still have that picture of like me on the red carpet. I swear I thought it was a shit, bro. I was like, yeah, I'm on the red carpet. What's good? <laughs> What's good, dude? But it was fun, man. As you start to look forward to, you know, the future. Yeah. You've already you're approaching things with this with this business mindset. You mentioned the movie that you're writing as well. Yeah. Um, is there one goal? or dream that you are shooting for, whether it be in two years or five years or 10 years, it like keeps you running? Honestly, bro, my ultimate goal is to be an Adam Sandler, like mm-hmm. make my own movies, write my own movies, have my friends. In, like I only have maybe three to five that are in this world as far as the, the, the acting world. Um, it's, it's not that many, bro. And I only have a few that I can rely on all the time that I want to help, you know? So that that's probably my ultimate, like, my end goal as far as acting goes. Like, being able to, hey, hey I'm writing this movie, dog. Paramount already, you know, they, they greenlit it. I need you for this character. Are you down? All right, bet. Boom. Now we're going to make a movie. That That's my ultimate goal, being able to help my people, my team, you know? And help others, too, bro. Like, because, I mean, I mean, if it wasn't for Giovanni reaching out saying hey you're funny let's work i don't know where i'd be right now you know what i mean and he always says he's, he always tells me bro you would have made it anyway with or without me and i'm like i don't know i don't think i would have i just i just want to help people bro that's 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 probably the ultimate goal like if i see potential in somebody i want to help that person like i've helped a lot of people start a career in making videos you know what i mean or helped like artists singers whatever connect them with somebody somehow that's benefiting them now you know that's just how i am i don't know i just like to help people you know not, i don't really expect anything in return you know it's just i was that person who needed help i want to be able to help somebody that needs the help you know so i know that you don't expect anything in return right but i'm gonna reach back into the seat real quick right because the presenting sponsor of cruising with kevin is prep protect so this Correct. is Protect. shoe cleaning products from I my great friends. I have the pill for this. And not only that, but there's two more of those bags in the back, one for Marissa and one for uh, Nathan as well. Oh, dope, bro. So Thanks, we'll give you man. three bags for taking the time to, to join me today. Appreciate so those are the little you, wipes. Those are really convenient because you just... You just... Yeah. Oh, you, you keep your shoes nice, bro. Yeah, bro. Nice Come on, and... dog. Hey. I know you need a little something, something for the vans. What was the uh, one pair of shoes that you were like, all right, these cost way too much money, but the money's coming in right now. Uh, Balenciagas. Uh, oh, damn. Yeah, yeah bro. You were pouring on them. Yeah, bro, Balenciagas, bro. That was my first, like, big shoe. I had gotten Yeezys, but, like, 
that it was only like four or five hundred bucks. Or not only, but like, you know, four or five hundred bucks. As opposed to Balenciaga, it's almost a thousand dollars. I'm like, fuck, do I really want to do this? And even Marissa looked at me like, you're so stupid. Why are you going to spend a thousand dollars on shoes? And I think I, I just, I don't know. I was just, I was like, I, 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 yeah, I was like, I wanted them. You know what I mean? Um, would I spend Balenciaga money now? Probably not. <laughs> like, it's like, I don't really care for it, bro. I wear Vans every day. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, that was my first big shoe purchase. Balenci not my first, but my biggest shoe purchase. Uh, Balenciaga, bro. That was my okay. biggest one. And I think I'm still paying for it. It's on my credit card. It's, <laughs> still on my, it's, still, still, it's still on my credit statement. Yeah. I think They're I'm, getting you for that 17% interest rate. Yeah, yeah, bro. I think I'm still paying them off. <laughs> uh, but yeah, bro. That, that was my first one. So we are in the Genesis G70 2020 model. Bro, it's nice. It smells good in here. It smells like Balenciaga's in here. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, man. It's really smooth. It's, it's, got it's comfortable. Watch, it's watch out now. It's got some... Oh, okay. You has got some heat on it down too, though. Oh, okay, that's that Genesis. Three four, that's that 3.3 huh. turbo. Huh. Oh, they, they're moving like that now. Yeah, that's why bro. they got the wings on the logo, because they be flying now. Let's go. <laughs> See, you're making my job so easy, bro. Yeah, and it's pretty big, too. It's spacious. It's not compact. This is up to your standards for mobbing with the yeah, family? Yeah, for sure, bro. It's comfortable. Leather seats. It feels good in here. It feels good in here, dude. <laughs> it's fast. Bro, I'm a sports car guy. Like, I, I, I need speed. Mm. I don't even drive fast. I just need the speed. In case I want to go around somebody that's driving slow, I have to be able to, like, uh, you know? You just want a little punch. I just want a little punch. Just a little. There, there it is. Look, look, look at this. Look at this. My hat almost blew <laughs> off. My hairline went back two inches, bro. Uh, I no, like I'll, it. It's, it's a nice car. I appreciate that, brother. What was your first car? Um... So that's a little tricky. My dad bought me a uh, Honda Civic. It's like a 90-something Honda Civic from my friend in high school. But I only drove it for like a week or two. And then my dad needed it because his car broke down. Um, so I was two weeks, gave it back to him. He ended up buying a car. And then he gave it to me. It was a, a, a Mr. An Eclipse, Mr. Mm -hmm. Bishi Eclipse. Mm -hmm. So that's tricky, bro. Like, I mean, I guess technically my first car was a Honda Civic. Mm -hmm. But, like, my first, first car where, like, I was... Fixing it up was my was the eclipse. Was yeah, the bro, eclipse? I hooked it up, dog. I mean, it was slow. It, yeah. was, it was only like <laughs> two fifty, but it's that was my baby. Like it had the exhaust, straight pipe. It was loud. Okay. It was loud. You know what I mean? Look nice. Kemawa? Probably not. You know? They, you know? They'd be like, Kema no Kema, no Kema, dog. It does not. I would race old cars and lose, bro. <laughs> That's a little racing, right? It's a little like my car looked fast, but like. <laughs> And then little pickup anywhere. truck just leaves me, dog. I love that car, though, bro. I love that car. Um, one of the things I wanted to touch on, too, was your relationship with Josh Leva. Yeah, yeah. You guys had, um, you know, the I'll Do It Later podcast going. Right. Yeah. You guys do a lot of skits together. What is that, you know, friendship meant to you, and how has that helped you, you know, in your career? When we're together, bro, like, we just come up with stuff. Like, mm -hmm. we can, like, come up with a whole video concept out of thin air. Like, you know, I can say something, bounce back, and it turns into a whole thing, all while coming up with the, you know, the plot, the, the, the intro, the plot, and the punch. Like, and it would make sense. You would think we wrote it out, but it's just off the top. We just get each other, bro. Like, it's just like, we just get, it's weird, bro. We just get each other. Like, a lot of the videos we do, there's no script. It's like, I have this idea, let's shoot it. And we, and we do it, you know what I mean? Um, that's my guy, bro. Like, he's one of the dudes that I call just to see what he's doing. And I don't really have that many of those. Like, yo, what's good? What's, what's popping? Um, yeah, bro. He's like he's like one of my best friends for sure, for sure, for sure. Is it tough when you're working with someone who's like that you're just a lot better looking than? So it's like you just sense that jealousy with yeah, him, bro. Do you get look, that? I, I get it, bro. Because like Josh is good looking, but it's like when he's with me, it's like I I have to tone it down. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because Josh is not. Just not quite on your He's level. not quite there, bro. Like, when we're in public, it's like, bro, I'll wear a hat. Because if I do my hair around you, you will get overshadowed. You know what I mean? And, yeah, he has the abs, but does he have the heart is my question. He might have the abs, but he ain't got the ass. He ain't got the ass, you know bro. Saying? Yeah. You got yeah. that junk and the trism. Oh, okay. And they love it, right? Oh, I mean, okay. I mean, I would I would assume, like, theoretically speaking. I mean, you kind of sound <laughs> a little excited about that. You got that junk and the trism, Oscar. Huh? <laughs> Mr. Miranda. Yeah, you like you got that junk. Yeah. I put too much sauce on it. it yeah, just, just, just a little too much. My bad, my a little, bad, little too much. It's cool though. It's cool. It's cool. 
<laughs> oh, oh man, that's shit. great. Yeah, man. But Josh is my boy. Dog. That's my boy, dog. That's my boy. You went to London. Yeah, bro. For the Rams. I yeah. was on that trip as well. Okay. And were you still reporting at the time? Yeah, at the okay. time I was still reporting. And then I went to the Super Bowl as well to report. That was actually my last trip. I in... had never been out of the country. That, yeah. that I had never been out of the country. That was my first time actually leaving the country, you know, to go somewhere dope. Like go somewhere like where people are one day I want to go there. You know what I mean? Um, so to leave the country for the first time going there was it was it was, it was great, bro. Like we flew business, had a, had the seats that turned into beds, you know. So we slept the whole time. We don't have to we don't have to like deal with turbulence. You know what I mean? Um, it was great, bro. It was fun. The people in London are great. The clubs out there are great. Uh, the music the music is different, and the accents out there are great, bro. Accents like get me going. Like it's just like. When somebody has an accent, I'm like, dog, you're sick, bro. You're fucking, <laughs> you're so dope. But they're out like, there, we had the accents. They're course. like, you're, they're like I love dude, the whole country speaks like me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They're like, they're like, you, we like your American accents, and we're like, well, we don't have accents. Y'all have accents. <laughs> y'all, uh, y'all. They're like, y'all. See, you say y'all. That's so cool. What does y'all mean? <laughs> it was fun though, bro. The people out there are great, man. It was fun. Or mob down your your street Ooh. now and, and let you off. What's the the parting words that you would like to say where can people follow you what can they look forward to what you got coming Shoot, for the people man. first off thank you for having me oh, appreciate bro. you come bro. on man this is all you it's great this is dope Shoot, just oscar moran on the gram bro just mm. keep up i guess just, yeah. i got nothing exciting really going with. just <laughs> be me you know just follow the gram for the videos mm -hmm. that i drop once every six months um <laughs> i appreciate you for having me bro dude so much fun and i'm glad like th what people might not know at home is this is our first time meeting meeting in, per in person text yeah. here and there a little phone call but yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, to get to meet you in person was really cool and I think it's always inspiring to talk to folks like yourself who believed in yourself when really no one else was checking for you yeah and it's like you just believed in it and you're like I see this path I see this passion that I have I'm just gonna believe in it and go for it, and and now look at you. I mean, you're getting to work with really big brands, and uh, you're making great relationships, and you've built your own, you know, ecosystem of creation. And it's just, it's really inspiring. It's really dope. And I, what's fun for me is to not just give you your flowers while you're here, but also just to conversate about this stuff and, and get your perspective on on different things. So it's really dope. Yeah, man. Appreciate you having me, dog. It's, you're dope. I thought you were gonna be weird. <laughs> just like, nah, bro. You, you. I'm, I'm glad we met, dog. It's been a long time coming. From I think when I would just see you report and like rap, like I'm like, yeah. this dude's hilarious. Like he should not be reporting. You should be on like in movies, bro. Like acting. Like you're, you're funny. I appreciate you know that. What I mean, man. so you already know. Hey, when I'm done with this movie, dog. Hey, yo, Kev. Bro. Hey, yo, Kev. Hit. I got a little something, something for Dude. you. It's the boom guy, but it's open if you hey, need it. I'll take it, It's bro. the sound guy. I will take it. <laughs> no, I got you, man. I got you for sure, bro. You're, you're, one of the, you're one of the people that I say, I see, and you're like, this dude's got it. You know what I mean? Thank like, you, you have that, that charisma. You have that personality, you know, which I feel like a lot of people don't have on camera. Like, you see somebody, and it's just like, hmm, kind of looks like an asshole. You know, like, I don't get that. I'm like... When I saw you, I was like, nah, this dude looks like fun. Like, he looks like he looks like a great time. So would you like to go to dinner with me maybe Friday? Well, I already let you know my feelings uh, with you, the junk in the trunk, etc. Right. So I already feel a little overexposed in this relationship. Right, right, right. Uh, so but just, no, I mean, if you're free. I'm free. I mean, I I'm guess I can make some I'm time. I'm free tonight <laughs> if, you, if you want, you know what I mean? <laughs> I love doing stuff like this. Like I told you uh, over the phone, I love doing interviews. Like, it's just... Yeah. It's Are just, you guys gonna keep the podcast going? Yeah, bro. It's just okay. it's tough because with the whole COVID thing could that was happening, and we didn't want like people saying, "Oh, you guys shouldn't be together." And just like you know what I mean, like uh, we didn't want to have that. And then um, just with everything going on right now, bro, it was kind of tough. Like, ah, oh, maybe we shouldn't post anything like mm. that's insensitive. I guess you, you could say. Um, but yeah, it's gonna it's gonna keep going, bro. You guys can look out for his podcast on YouTube. Mm -hmm. That's the I'll do it later I'll do podcast. It later. It's, it's, we we live him by Josh that Leva. name. Yeah. yeah, we live by that name. Yeah, because yeah, we're like, you want to shoot? Nah, <laughs> we don't do it, bro. We we'll do it later. It's just if later, you're later. If you're procrastinating, watch the podcast because we do it later. We don't do it now. We do it yeah. later. Um, yeah, check that out. 
I think there's like four episodes up right now. So. Yeah, yeah, no, that's where I did all my research, brother. There it is. That and and, and just looking on your timeline and stuff. So here are the other two bags Bad. of our Crep Protect product for Shout out Crep. Nathan and Marissa. Shout out Crep. Give my best to your family. Of course, of course. And uh, and keep up the great work as a pop Ugh. and appreciate as a creator you. and just everything you. you do for real, man. My oh, man, appreciate you, bro. Thank you. If you ever need anything, hit me up. Will do. Shoot I will need let something real soon. I'll need that movie part. Of course. I'll need a couple thousand dollars. All right, bro. Let it. <laughs> let it roll. That was hella fun. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. Oscar Miranda, big shout out to him for joining me today. And uh, also got to give some love to the sponsors, Crep Protect and Genesis for making this all possible. Uh, hooking up the gift bags and getting me this whip to ride around in. So... None of this happens without the help of you guys. Cannot thank you enough. Seriously, seriously. Uh, it means the world. You guys are helping make my dreams come true. So thank you for hanging out and looking forward to seeing you guys real soon on another episode of Cruising with Kevin. Ahala! Marathon continues. TMC.